Hey everyone, Gage and Will here from Press Start TV. Right now we have the Press Start TV Super Smash Con Brawl Tournament wrap up, so to speak. Um, straight from Smash Con, I'm joined by Gunblade and Reslib. I promised I wouldn't get that wrong, so that's already good. <laughs> guys, how are you guys doing? I'm doing all right, man. That was so exciting, man. Brawl Top 4 was just insane really nuts. Yeah, I'm having a great time. I did not expect the excitement out of this tournament that we ended up getting. That was really a lot of fun. I, yeah. I, I really enjoyed that. Awesome, awesome. Well, we, we saw Mewtwo King take the whole thing. Uh, are we surprised by this? Uh, is Mewtwo King, like, you know, is he an up-and-coming guy, or is he just, you know, top of the top like we know he is? Well, Mewtwo King has been around forever. Well, yeah, that was the joke. Come on, <laughs> man. They're making me look mad on camera. Some, sometimes that flies right over my head, <laughs> stuff like that. But yeah, Mewtwo King, I mean, uh, as Rez was saying right right before we went on, man, you know, Mewtwo King plays these events um, playing multiple games, going through and switching back and forth. And the, the other competitors usually focus on one game. Now this time, as, as Rezliff said before, you know, they were on an equal playing ground these times, and Mewtwo King uses experience, intelligence, and just his attention to detail, I feel. And he really outshined and outperformed the other players today. Like he came in wanting to win. You know, he's a total student of the game anyway, so. Rez? Yeah. Not, not, not since 2008 have we really seen Mewtwo King just annihilate people yeah. like we saw today. It's, it's been a long time, and, you know, even in the last couple years even, he was maybe placing top 16, top 8 uh, in nationals. In fact, for this exact tournament, he was seated 8th in our top 32 bracket, which is how he ran into Nairo in winner's quarters. Nairo, of course, was seated 1st. And Nairo ended up going 3rd while Mewtwo King ended up taking the whole thing. So yeah, as I was trying to, as, as Gunblade was saying, where Mewtwo King, I don't think, ever really fully put his time into Brawl. As he said, he entered multiple events, but he would, you know, always say he cared about Melee. Now that everyone else is entering Smash 4 or entering Melee, and they don't actually care that much about Brawl, all of a sudden Mewtwo King shines, and it was really cool to see. Will, do you have anything to ask? Yeah, so SmashCon Day 1, what do you guys think about this event? This event is awesome. Oh my god. I was, I was, you know, with any brand new event that's trying to be a national, you always have to put in this vote of confidence. You're spending $100 to come to an event that's never been run before. You don't know any of the staff. But, you know, a lot of people decided they would put their money in. And this place is awesome. Awesome booths all around. Awesome setup. Great tournament so far for everyone involved. I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, for sure. SmashCon is awesome. Uh, not only is the all are the booths and everything all the activities to do awesome but the tournament itself is running just amazing with this amount of people here i mean i've, I've been to tournaments where where there's a hundred people and, and it lasts forever but we ran through all of brawl today going through smash 4 melee 64 and they're running great so it's just a testament to the planning the organization and the drive for the people running the event to provide for the community and the community is responding positively and, and we're all enjoying ourselves and i know everyone will be back next time and we'll spread the word for everyone to come if they're not here exactly and i think it's really cool that the community showed up in such force and we have so many people here and it's like a really big fan based event so when we have those tournaments and mewtwo kings playing lights out you the cheers are louder than they've been i've seen streams from evo where people are cheering and stuff but they don't really get to what the fans get to because they're seeing it live happen now. I'd also like to point out that it's only Friday and the number of people has been slowly growing. I mean, Thursday I heard, you know, it's kind of dead. This is Friday. It's just Brawl Grand Finals. Probably a lot of people thought to themselves before they signed up. Tomorrow there's going to be people here for Melee Grand Finals. Or, or, th Sunday there's going to be people here for Melee Grand Finals and Wii U Grand Finals when more people are going to come out of the woodwork. Yep. And honestly, looking in front of me now, there's not enough chairs. For, for right. what's about to come to this they were event. Still, they were standing fans for Brawl. For Brawl, That's yeah. got to be a headline it's, somewhere. That's crazy. Yeah, for a, game that, for a game that hasn't been on the mainstream uh, at big events for quite some time now, the crowd for Brawl was amazing. And like Rez said, they need, they need to go to Home Depot or something and, <laughs> and, and pick up some chairs because it's going to be packed in here. We'll just take some from the 
flash guys over there. They got too many. <laughs> so, Will, do you have anything to add before we get out of here? No, that's it. Uh, guys, thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate it. We'll be talking to you over the weekend. And <laughs> Here, I won't yeah. snub you. All right, no, that's no, 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 fine, that's no, fine. Listen, for all things Super Smash Con and more to come from here, we're going to be covering all the tournaments and things like that. Make sure you stick on Press Start TV.